Hi guys, at last I came up to the overview of uh, LED array line from uh, civil semiconductors called Sunlike. Ukrainian official dealer of these LEDs uh, told me to stop being tortured by a needle file, uh, didn't finish the arrays off and sent me a holder for their fastening. Standard holder and contactor which has two contacts at the bottom and split wire terminals. Next we will talk about arrays. On the left side there is an array with parameters 15 watt, 3000 kelvins and uh, 1425 lumen for the current uh, for 30 milliamperes. On the right there is an array with parameters 25.4 watt, 2540 lumen, for the current uh, 720 milliamperes. An average luminous efficacy of these arrays is about 100 lumen per watt. But I will speak about this a bit later. Getting ahead of myself, note that the low luminous efficacy in lumens does not mean the low power component or small flow of photons from an array. That is, uh, array PPFD level can be high, while the luminous efficacy will be moderate. The arrays uh, have the declared color reproduction index uh, 97 units. This is very high value as uh, the sun, the reference light source, has CRI equal to 100 units. CRI defines how correctly we see the colors. Such arrays uh, are topical for applications at uh, picture exhibitions, galleries, some manufacturing where the light close to the polar one is needed. The arrays fabrication technology differs from the standard one. The crystals with violet luminescence are installed inside the arrays. Uh, their light is transformed by luminophore to the light of other ranges of visible spectrum. Repeat once more. Uh, this is a sample for 3000 Kelvin and this is for 4000 Kelvin. And there is another one for 5000 Kelvin in the manufacturer line, but unfortunately I still have not have it. As soon as I get it, I will make an overview for sure. Uh, LED's SMD3030 also from Sunlight line will, with increased color production are waited to be offered for sale as well. Uh, let's take a look on how they shine. This is for 4000 kelvins and uh, this for 3000 kelvins with uh, warmer light. Correspondingly in the first case we have the advantages of red light, in the second case a bit more blue light and 5000 Kelvin model should have a conditional linear spectrum. But we will, we will talk about this a bit later. Generally arrays are amusing enough, in near future I will think about the possibility to apply these arrays for plant illumination. In this overview we will measure the array spectrum PPFD per watt at the distance 25.5 cm Compare with the PPFD per watt characteristics of Cree array and, as usual, look through the other parameters. The array is fixed on radiator and uh, get down to overview. Let it roll. You see the datasheet for the civil semiconductor sled of Sunlight line. Such LEDs are based on that series and uh, have the same standard dimension types. Then the main specification follows. Declared serial I for all models equal to 97. As I said, the line has three types according to the column temperature value, 3, 4 and 5000 kelvins. Note that uh, the CRI coincides for all color temperatures. Going further, models and uh, spectrograms. Now I'm measuring models for 3 and 4000 kelvins.
Let's see what our spectrophotometer is indicating. Distance 25.5 cm. I have already done some measurements. This is the array model. All measurements we will do in rated duty. In our case it's uh, 15 watt and 3000 Kelvin array. It's PPFD 149 micromoles. Light flux energy is uh, 30 watt per meter squared. Illumination 8490 lux. PPFD per watt 9.7. Next compare the last parameter value with that one of Cree 6B 3590 and some like 25 watt in rated duty. The spectral power distribution looks like this. It's clearly seen that uh, there is a peak at uh, 412 nanometers wavelength. I think that uh, this is an influence of crystals which are placed inside the array. The lumina 4 transforms their radiation to all other spectrum parts. It's also worth noting that uh, the peaks at 447 nanometers and 523 nanometers. The main peak falls on uh, the 612, uh, 620, 630 nanometers. Considerable slope starts at uh, 650 nanometers and lasts almost to 800 nanometers. That is, spectrum even has a 730 nanometer wavelength. It's very good if we are talking about the application of these LEDs for horticultural lighting. Let's come back to intensity plot and take a look to the real luminescence temperature for the array of 3000 kelvins. Its practical value is uh, 3223 kelvins. My spectrophotometer measures the color reproduction using 15 wavelengths. That is according to the CQS standard. There is also a standard CRI. Color reproduction is equal to 97.7 .7, and this is a great value for any artificial light sources in general. Here is our color reproduction index value. So uh, this is the excellent array for with uh, pleasant warm luminescence. It's reasonable to use them in everyday lighting. The only negative is luminous efficacy. By the way, about luminous efficacy. Why is uh, they are 100 lumen per watt? We have already been seen uh, that PPFD per watt and PPFD in general is very high for the given distance. Uh, remember 15 watt for the distance 25.5 centimeters. Chinese arrays supplied with uh, 212 uh, 20 volt and uh, costed 3 cents have the same light flux for the power 50 watt. That is, the difference is great. Not that it matters, but it's just interesting fact. Let's talk about uh, lumens. Why is 100? Parameter PPFD is high, but lumens are not enough. Why? Because the spectrum is stretched out. That is, uh, the light flux from the array uh, has wavelengths from 4, uh, 405 uh, to 750 nanometers. It's known that a human eye perceives better a green light, namely the light of uh, 550 nanometers. What do we have in our spectrum at this wavelength? In general, there is a little of green light. If we look at the spectrum of ordinary LED, here it is, we will see that its spectrum has greater level of green component. The dependence of energy on uh, the wavelengths for this LED is shown on the model with cold light luminescence. For comparison, the sunlight LED spectrum for the model with 5000 kelvins is represented above. The spectrum difference is clearly observed. In case of sunlight LED, the spectrum is fully filled. While for another case, there is a lot of green component and great part of energy is also concentrated at yellow and orange spectrum components. This is due to the fact that such spectrum is perceived better than, for example, far red, blue or violet. That is, uh, the difference in lumens is great. This fact is connected with the human's eye features only. If we proceed the whole spectrum from 4 to 8 
100 nanometers equally good, then the number of lumens would be much greater. Not less in, uh, in the ratio than the standard arrays like Cree 6B 3590 with the luminous efficacy up to 180 lumens per watt have. Remember that in the investigated array we have 100 lumens per watt, but at the same time it has color reproduction. It's reasonable to apply the array there while it really needs. In exhibitions, galleries, different manufacturers, like for example paint production and selection, I think that uh, it's rather easy to find bulk application for this array. I'm installing the array 25 watt to the test bench, turn it on in rated duty, taking the same measurements, and we are comparing the parameter PPFD per watt with the array 6B3590. Note that uh, there is a video about uh, Cree array operation and rated duty of uh, 2.1 array on our channel. Measurements are taken for the current uh, 720 milliamperes. Array consumed power has 25.8 watt PPFD to 44 micromole for the same distance 25.5 centimeters. The light flux power has uh, 52 watt per meter squared. Illumination 15 uh, 300 lux, PPFD per watt uh, 8.5, that is a bit lower than for the 15 watt model. Cree 6B3590 array in rated duty and current 2.1 ampere has PPFD per watt 10.4, that is a bit higher. We can say that uh, on one unit per watt higher or, abo or about 100 micromole per each 100 watt. The difference is passable but not critical taking into account the variety of wavelengths in spectrum. We know that everything greater 700 nanometers has, let's say, a small number of photons. Uh, that is uh, the lead measurement on uh, uh, 730 nanometers gave us about 1 micromole in a 3 watt mode, while uh, the real consumption was 2 watt. Current array has a bit different spectrum. There are additions in blue and uh, turquoise parts in the region from uh, 470 to 500 nanometers. Spectrum has become more even. Suppose that a 5000 Kelvin array uh, will have even flatter spectrum. Let's take a look at CRI. It's uh, 97.3. And luminescence temperature practically equals to, uh, to uh, 42,000 kelvins. 4200 kelvins. PPFD parameter value is high. That is a race can be used. Uh, there is a nice looking luminescence color. I like it. Color reproduction is very high. It's interesting to see the sample for 5000 kelvins. In principle it seems uh, that it's very good choice for rock place light. I have not been tired. Come back to the array. It's installed on the test bench. The distance as usual is 25.5 cm. There are meanwhile drivel catalogs on my table. They are rather presentable and colorful. Now we are seeing them under the light from sealed semiconductor sunlight array. There is an addition on, of some part of orange and yellow colors on a double page spread. spread. Now I'm turning on the lamp based on Chinese LEDs. In this case we see the catalog covers in this way. Again switch over to the sunlight array. It seems that the color is more saturated and more reasonable, proper. It's very important for a number of tasks. In whole, I think that uh, these are good arrays. So waiting for the 5000 Kelvin models and LEDs of the same line in SMD3030 form factor and 0.3 watt dimension type. 
Later, I will make an overview of my uh, modular block with uh, this array. The video about the modular block itself was earlier, but there was the ordinary array on uh, 4000 kelvins installed. I want to try uh, the combination of sunlight spectrum, a pike at uh, 660 nanometers from Osram Oslan SSL LEDs, a bit 730 nanometers, and blue light. However, in this case it seems that it's not necessary to add blue light, it's a general world, it is rather high. So, that's all for today. Ask your questions, subscribe to our channel, give it thumbs up, share this video with friends and social networks. Bye for now!